Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be doing new diamond triple threat offline vault reward deadlift shrimp gameplay. Six, 10 forward from the University of Washington. Now, before we dive in to deadlifts, shrimp stats, badges, animations, all of those things, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smashing that subscribe button as we're on the road to 80,000 subscribers. Shout out to Big Ed Ninja Chris for letting me up on his account to make this game play possible. 610 at the three for deadlift is something I love. 92 three ball 80 driving deck 86 ball under defensively he's not great but can hold it down 78 block 82 still 84 perimeter and interior decent enough rebounder 84 speed as well as an 86 lateral quickness i definitely feel like on the defensive end he's going to be very underrated defensive tendencies are really rough though five all the famers catch and shoot court especially set shooter sniper volume shooter 23 on gold glue hands pick down to chase starters interceptor does have clamps blinders limitless as well as green machine hot zone hunter bullet passer hustler silver badges you guys can see and i mean if you look at the silver badges all of them are upgradable as well as the fact that you can basically put any badge on it does he really need any badges i don't really think he needs much because my thing is you're not going to be able to dribble that much with deadlift anyways if you give him rim protector brick wall maybe that's it you get a pretty complete player. Looking at Deadlift here in Shiran, the first thing we're gonna check out is EO. I don't like that. Let's just check out the release for Deadlift. Straight up and down, I, I, I what I wanted Deadlift to have was the Galinari base. That's what I wanted. Just cause Jump Shot 40, I don't know. I, it's not a bad release. I don't wanna sit here and say Jump Shot 40 is a bad release, cause it's not. Jump Shot 40 is a fine release. It's just not one of those releases that you're like, wow, this release is the best release in the game. It's still in the catch and shoot situation is going to be fine it's going to be pretty knocked down and that's it that's fine for deadlift that's all you need is a release that you're going to be able to knock down at a high rate honestly didn't expect his player build to be i don't want to call him fat but like he looks kind of fat but that's rude i don't remember deadlift shrimp ever being this big in past 2ks now maybe that's me he looks more wide than tall honestly at least in my opinion but shooting wise pretty knocked down for deadlift shrimp let's see how he moves in shoot around because i mean he should be able to dribble decently right for deadlift okay dribble six decent enough tween that's not terrible i mean he can move a little bit right he, he is 610 so you can't expect him to move that crazy but he moves decently well for being 6'10". And man, I actually do like this release. Looking at Deadlift in a shoot around here, here's the thing. He is, his player model in a shoot around on current gen looks a lot bigger than it does on next gen. Either way, release wise is knocked down for Deadlift Shrimp. I mean, it's, it's honestly kind of slow on current gen. Maybe that's just me. But the slower releases on current gen are the easier ones to green. Like some releases on current gen are almost too fast. His is slow, which basically means it's going to be really easy to time and really easy to green. I just have mixed emotions on Jump Shot 40 in general. I mean, it's the same release, I think, that Gary Payton has. I know a comparison that's been thrown out there is Deadlift Strength and Mellow. And quite honestly, shooting-wise, I don't hate the comparison. Defensively, I don't hate the comparison. It's just Mellow is going to move better, whereas Deadlift is probably going to play a little better defense and be a little bit taller so i don't necessarily hate that comparison especially when you compare their releases i mean who has a better release i don't even know all right let's see what my opponent gets into he's got a decent enough team and quite honestly uh defensively ah look at that live he already making an impact oh my goodness do y'all see what that oh my god why he why no way they made me shoot it early. That's crazy that they made me shoot it early. That was not even early. And I, I know what an early is. That was not an early. Let me tell you. I'll be the first to tell you guys that was not an early. Maybe it was. Maybe it's because I was used to current gen, so I shot it early. He still made the shot, but I'm okay with that. Run good, Giannis. Straight to the cup. I'm really going to shoot anything with deadlift in this in this gameplay, too. I mean, there's no reason for me not to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the most chicken on the console. Look at Giannis Antetokounmpo. And it's tough running deadlift like with a guy like Giannis. Obviously, deadlifts are better shooter. We know that. But that Giannis release is literally so tough to contest. Oh, yeah, deadlift. Oh, yeah, deadlift. 
There's no way I didn't agree that. Knocking down whites, which I love with Hall of Fame Sniper. That's good, D. Literally boxed, and you know who's there for the contest? It's Detlift. Straight up, what Kobe. in the world was that? Good. The fake DBG? How is, why, I, I, I guess, okay, DBG's online, in case you were wondering. Go dunk on somebody, Detlift. Hey, I like the dunk, Annie. Nothing special. Just rise up there with two hands and slam it down. I like it. Hedge, good. Poor Deadlift. Deadlift was coming over to grab that rebound, too. So this is what it looks like after you do get 40 wins. It's nothing crazy. You just get the same exact view. I feel like the wheel should just be a little improved once you get to 50 wins to make it worth playing. That's just me. We're going to hop into one last game with Deadlift. Right, let's see here. Same type of opponent, it looks like. I mean, he has a decent enough squad. Come here. I see Vooch. I just don't know about Vucevic. That's my only thing. I just don't know about Vucevic. I do know about Detlef Shrimp in the catch and shoot type of situation, though. My goodness, is he knocked down. I honestly think Detlef's probably better at the four than the three. I mean, if you really want to get into Another it, one. he's probably better at the four than the three. Just so you can use him a little more in the pick and pop. But right now, he is frying this dude. If you're running Giannis and you got Dolph and all these guys, then maybe Detlef at the three is the move. But I'm just saying, Detlef... Oh, that's a little too deep for you. My fault. Detlef at the three, it just seems like because he doesn't really handle the ball too well, it just seems like he'd be better suited at the four. I mean, that's just my only my only gripe with him. But again, if you if you don't dribble that much with your small forward in general, you'll be just fine. Five seconds. Can you get me one, Detlef? Of course you can. Of course you can. Imagine me doubting you for a second. I didn't even green it, but the Hall of Fame sniper. Coming in very handy right there. The only thing I can say is I don't recommend handling the ball with him. Outside of that, do whatever you got to do with Detlef. He doesn't even have brick wall yet, but do what you got to do with the card. You going to pick me up? Nope. It's your problem, not mine. Can you just back up? Like, that's no fun. The way you're guarding Detlef was no fun right there. Detlef. Detlef. I dare you to attack him. His player build for defense is crazy. It is crazy. Six, he's not only is he 6'10". He's got a wide player base, which just helps him move laterally, right? I mean, it helps him from really getting fried on defense, and I just am not greening from four with him. I just got to green with him. That's my problem. I haven't been greening from four with him. It's really my fault because from three, he's not missed. Stop leaving Giannis to, oh my goodness, and I got a full. That's crazy. I mean, what more do you need to see other than that shot right there? Y'all want to not compare him to Melo. Okay, what more do you need to see? Then? I mean, that's the type of shot Melo would hit right there. It is. That, that's literally a shot Carmelo Anthony would hit. Y'all don't want to compare him to Melo. Okay, compare him to somebody else then. Because Detlef is knocked down. And he's taking over this game. Stop playing with Detlef's defense. Like, that's D right there. Run. Uh-oh. I'm shooting it. I don't care. I was letting that thing fly no matter what. Like, you would have had to literally, like, block it for me not to let that thing fly. It was going up. I, that's the first time I've seen, like, an over 70% from the three-point line. But it doesn't matter. He got fouled to go into the line for three shots. Because the problem is if it's 40%, all green. It's, it's that simple with Detlef. 100% on the free throws, even without it being real player percentage. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, Dame. Finish him. What more do you guys need to see? That's a three. I got a hold. That really was a four. But Detlef has literally got 22 my opponent's got 16. If you need to see anything more from Detlef after that game, I don't know what to tell you. He's knocked down. If you don't think Detlef's shrimp is good, okay, that's cool. I, I'm not trying to start an argument with you. But what I'm saying is if you don't if you don't like Detlef's shrimp, you probably don't like Carmelo Anthony. I'm not saying they are the same player because they are a little bit different and they do their own different things. But what I'm saying is on the court, they feel very similar. Yes, Melo is better badge-wise. But when you fully badge out Detlef Shrimp, he is still very solid. You could argue with the Hall of Fame sniper, you know, Detlef's Hall of Fame badges maybe might be better. 
But what I'm saying is deadlift 610. He gives you something different at this small forward position where if you use your point guard and shooting guard as your, your only ball handlers, if that's kind of how you play the game, deadlift at the three is just absolutely incredible. Imagine if you came up against the lineup. I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put one together. Imagine if you came up, up 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 against this type of a starting line, right? Let's not even put D Rob in here. Let's just say this type of a starting line, where you go six seven, six eight, six ten, six eleven, six eleven. What are you gonna do? Everybody can guard in the perimeter. Everybody can guard in the interior. I'm not telling you guys what to run, but this lineup would be super tough. Let me know your thoughts on deadlift down below in the comments because I think for a triple third off my reward, he's pretty solid. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new and as always, man. I love you guys. Have a blessed day.